Now let's turn to our big story. Now, we spent a lot of time on this show talking about the protesters in Portland being arrested, being charged with different crimes, including last night when we looked at all the cases the DA is currently pursuing. But then I got this email from Lowen. Hey, Dan, what about the dozens of illegal actions by local and federal police that we saw occurring live on TV? Have those been investigated and prosecuted? Well, we do know that the city's independent police review agency and PPB's internal affairs, they are investigating a total of 125 cases of misconduct by Portland police officers at the protest. But those are kind of like HR investigations. Those are not criminal investigations. However, today, a Portland police officer was charged for what you see here for his actions during a protest last summer. A grand jury indicted officer Corey Budworth with a single count of fourth degree assault, a misdemeanor video here of a protest. This was August 18th shows the officer knock a woman down to the ground and then hit her again on the head with a baton as she was on the ground. The woman later identified as an independent journalist sued the city of Portland in federal court. The city settled that case for $50,000. Now I want to bring in Kyle Boshi. When I first read about this story, I thought that I was thinking to myself, is this the very first time that an officer has been charged for something that happened during these protests? But that's not the case, is it? Right. There have actually been two officers now facing charges in connection to these protests. Back in October, a grand jury indicted an officer recently retired for misconduct and other charges. He's accused of using a van to hit a suspect who was involved in a vandalism of a local business. That case is still pending. All right. So we saw the video. The, we've heard the accusations. We know what the independent journalist is saying. But what are we hearing from the police side of things? What's the union saying? So the union is pushing back strong. They issued a lengthy statement today, basically saying the officer did nothing wrong. They also think this is really political. Additionally, they described the events of that night as really being chaotic and police had their hands full. Uh, they declared a riot after someone threw a Molotov cocktail at the Multnomah County building. And so they had their hands full. But again, they say this officer didn't do anything wrong. Where do we go from here? What, where is the case currently and what's what's next? Right. So the officer has been indicted single count misdemeanor. He'll be arraigned at some point that has not been scheduled with the courts yet. And then we'll see how it plays out. Got it. Kyle Boshi. Thank you.